fuck going on, cut? Woo! That one dead. A surprise, motherfucker. Persona 4 Golden was like Bro Sona. What the fuck are you playing? You're being gay. That's what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Well, whose fault is that? Exactly, it's fighter's fault. this chicken sandwich made it upside down. I have like a, f I have like five chicken sandwiches in the fridge, cause because they threw it a fuck ton at work because they weren't selling as quickly as usual, so I was like fuck it, Just shoved some in my bag and took them home. The region, whatever the reason, our broadcast tonight was extended to bring you up to date Because they're being tossed out at the end of the workday anyway. The time is now midnight. Since they're scanned out, I took them. I was like, they're mine. Even though I'm technically not supposed to do that. The image is there again. It seems that if the conditions are met, you can see it as many times as you want. Her silhouette appeared. There seems to be a woman that looks like she's wearing a kimono. The image is so out of focus that you can't tell who it is. Touch for image on the midnight channel, would you be able to touch for person on screen? The image disappeared. You should speak to Yosuke and the overs about this tomorrow. Decided to go to bed. So, the reason I keep complaining that I hurt is because I was, uh, 
I was trying to uh, fix the uh, hot water dispenser on the uh, water dispenser in the break room that people usually use for their bottles and cups of water because it wasn't spitting out hot water and I was like alright it should be fixed now fucking turn it on it's coming out cold at first I'm like fuck because I was feeling it I mean it just started coming out blistering hot in the next second and it burned half my hand Welcome. Do it's like alone. motherfucker you are fast asleep had to really do world. that I have summoned you within your dreams. And so we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Bing bong, fuck your life. In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Thereby, enacting your glorious awakening to your power. To this. <laughs> From this night, your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. but one prize for this assistance. You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Very well. The persona you have acquired, it is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination you wear. Your persona ability, however, is that of the wild card. Compared to that of others, 
It is very special. It is like the number zero. Empty, yet holding infinite potential within itself. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. And the heart is strengthened through bonds. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening your persona. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> Till we meet again. saw what was on last night, right? I couldn't tell who it was. But if someone I never noticed that. TV, that the bike has Atlas as its lo uh as its brand. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy if It turns out someone was thrown in again. There really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We need to find the culprit, no matter what it takes. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? <laughs> cool. It's 
reassuring to hear someone else say it. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could be that we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. And again, you managed to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, let's do our best. Well, let's do our best. Thou art I, and I am thou. Thou hast established a new bond. Form a bond with Yosuke, you feel the power in your heart strengthening you ready for call Igor's word. Is the power to control one's own heart. <clears throat> the heart is strengthened through bonds. Becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The power of these social links is what will determine your persona's abilities. Um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Yukiko-san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh my god, I'm literally gonna come. Huh? Oh man. Oh, okay, whoever the third viewer is just hey, fucking got a nice earful of me being stupid. people showing up on the midnight channel is related to that other world oh, we were just talking about that we're thinking of checking it out later the person on TV yesterday I think it was Yukiko possibility the kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn and she wore it during that interview a few days ago too I got I called her earlier in the evening, though, and she said she'd be at school today. I... Calm down. We get the picture. And you still haven't heard from her? No! to mean wait are you saying yukiko was thrown in there we don't know yet for sure we should check to see if she's safe first give her another call shut the fuck up no good her voicemail picked up
guys. Did you know? Let him turn him something. I had another bottle of water. Where the fuck? What the fuck, dude? I'm upset he's spaghetti because it's MIA. Are you serious? Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up, like an errand or something. Oh, or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko, pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Uh huh. Uh huh. I. Uh, uh, nah, it was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. She was over at the inn. She said they had a big group reservation and she had to help out. Well, my bottle of water is gone, because I had two. Well, yes, I'll just drink from this one. I don't really like using this one because it's glass. Easier to clean. If I drop it, it's going to fucking shatter. So it was used for like flowers at one point. So it smells like flowers. And not like, oh, it smells pretty. It smells like dirt. Like flower dirt. She 
said she'll be at the inn tomorrow, too. For crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. She was totally fine. And you were all, is Yukiko-san inside that place? Sorry, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah? What? Well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko-san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. I don't want to meet up at Juness. Juness is a gay. Okay, I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. Yeah, no kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. Yeah. How? By talking to that teddy guy? I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? A wall? anyone inside there right now. Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear like always. This land feels so barren. <laughs> oh my god. So barren. So there's no one inside? You're sure? I'm not lying. My nose is running as good as ever. Hmm. warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's Looks like we found all we're gonna find here. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. We don't even know if this is a homicide. Well, what else could it be? There's no way a body could end up like that by accident. <sighs> I know. Yeah! <clears throat> we haven't found the car. 
cause of death for the first pick. Now we got a second one just like it. This is a murder case. There's no doubt. If that's true, what the hell is going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. No, that singer, Misuzu Hiragi, has a solid alibi. She was performing overseas, and her phone records prove it. And remember, the only reason the scandal went public was because Hiragi herself broke it to the media. No one would put themselves under suspicion that way if they had murder on their mind. Got a point there. Same with Taro Namatame, her husband. No matter how much we shake him down, nothing links him to the murders. He's been working in the city for the past six months. Seems he was here recently because of the scandal, but he was swamped with work back home at the time of the incident. There are eyewitnesses and other evidence placing him at his office the night that Mayumi Yamano died. And we can't find anything that shows Yamano making contact with Namatame before or after her disappearance. You hear Namatame's career has also been killed stone dead? He's been fired from his position as secretary. He's practically as much of a victim as the Yamano girl. Yeah, I agree. Then we have the second case, regarding Saki Konishi. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't know by the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same <coughs> school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. And coincidences like that are common in a town as small as ours. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the inn out? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Welcome home!
somewhere I'll be fine by myself so the weather this weekend will be perfect for going out as for next week's forecast oh the sun's gonna come out I should do some laundry uh weren't you going somewhere <laughs> Oh. Sorry for the hold up. I found some stuff we can use in the closet at home. Take a look at these. We've got our personas, but a golf club's not that reliable of a weft. So, which one strikes your fancy? Ah, you've got discerning taste. This is a Juness exclusive. The blade's fake, though. As for me. Wait, maybe both would be good too. Kind of like this? Or like this? What about this? <laughs> Two suspicious young males found, one armed with multiple weapons, requesting immediate backup. Huh? Oh, crap. No, 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 no. This, this isn't what it looks like. I'm I guess that's not what matters. Anyways, we're not doing anything bad. We're just two ordinary kids who like weapons. Oh. Put the weapons down now. We'll listen to your story at the station. Hands <laughs> where I can see them, too. But, but this is... Are you resisting an officer of the law? You're under arrest. You didn't seem the type to pull a stupid stunt like this. You know what's been going on around town. We got men stationed everywhere, for God's sake. You're lucky I was around. Or this would have ended up on your permanent record. We're sorry. Wait, so the one that disappeared is the Amagi girl? Seems like it. That she's just a high schooler, you know. Could be that she decided to run away from home. Hey, did he say Amagi? Hmm? Who's what now? Oh, uh, nothing. I'm sure you've seen on the news that there's an investigation in progress. 
We're sensitive about certain things. You're free to go. But this better not happen again. <laughs> Whoa, pardon me. Huh? Aren't you the kid staying at Dojima-san's place? Oh, uh, can we ask you something? It's about Yukiko-san. I mean, Yukiko Amagi. Uh, did something happen to her? Huh? Oh, um, am I allowed to say? Well, if you're friends with Miss Amagi, we got a call from Miss Amagi's parents yesterday evening saying they couldn't find her anywhere. Since it was the weekend, the workers at the inn were extremely busy and no one saw Miss Amagi around that time. Oh, but that doesn't necessarily mean this is a case just yet. about maybe going through some hard times? Uh... Well, that announcer, Miss Yamano, was staying at the Amagi Inn before the first murder. Seems Miss Yamano had some harsh words for the manager about the staff's attitude towards guests. The stress of it caused the manager to collapse. And, with Miss Amagi being the manager's daughter, she must have felt pretty strongly about the incident, you know? By the way, did Miss Amagi ever hint that she might be leaving the house? If not, there's been some theories floating around that she's laying low for some reason or another. Ah, crap. I think I've gone too far. You didn't hear that, okay? Adachi, what the hell are you chatting with civvies for? And where's my coffee? Sorry, I got it right here. Psst, forget I said anything. think that Yukiko-san? There you are! Jeez, what are you guys doing? I've been looking everywhere! Uh, well, there was a slight misunderstanding. We'll tell you. Anyway, something's up with Yukiko-san. Huh? You know already? I kept calling her so, but she didn't pick up. So I went to her house, and it turns out Yukiko really did disappear. I guess we've got no choice but to go now. But that aside, the cops are saying some weird stuff. They think Yukiko-san's hiding to lay low. Apparently Yukiko-san's mom collapsed because that announcer lady bitched her out. They think that gives her a motive. And the fact that the announcer died right after makes her even more suspicious. What? They think Yukiko did it? <gasps> what the hell is wrong with them? Dude, don't snap at me. Yukiko's the victim here, damn it, not the suspect. Right. That's the important thing. With the police totally on the wrong track, we've got to handle it ourselves. I'm going to. And that's final. I'm going to save Yukiko no matter what. Are you gonna be all right? Uh, uh, well, Man, they just uh, confiscated our weapons. We can't go in empty-handed. Weapons? Oh, I know just the place. Come on, follow me. Come on, follow me. <laughs> Bitch. Here we are. What kind of shop is this? 
Uh, metalworks, I guess? They sell all sorts of metal crap, like katanas and stuff. Doesn't that seem weird to you? Why would you know about a place like this anyway? Oh, I get it. You watch one too many kung fu movies and... It's not that at all. I overheard some guys in our class talk about it. They said this place sells weapons and armor. Here, this one looks good. But it might be too heavy. I don't know, Chie. I still think it's too dangerous. I, I know how you feel. You don't! You don't know shit about how I feel. You can come and die from this for crying out loud. I'm going, and that's that! Psh, I'll be fine. My reflexes are second to none. Listen, sure, man. I'm not kidding around. You don't know what it's like in there. If you're not gonna listen to our warnings, we're leaving you here. If you insist on coming, just make sure you have something to protect yourself. All right. Man, what should we get? Hey, mind picking out something for me too? You're our main asset in battle right now. So I think you should choose whatever makes it easiest for you. I got my stuff all picked out. How about you guys? You know, if we wear this stuff around town, we'll just get picked up again. But it's not like we can waltz into Juness with a sack full of gear and expect no one to notice either. Why not conceal them under our uniforms? I don't think people would notice. Okay, let's try that. All right, let's split up and get ready. The store will be crowded until the afternoon sale ends. And if we walk around together, the cops might get suspicious. Then I'll see you guys at the Juness food court. I've come to see your cock. I mean, our... can't have a moment of my time. We have been expecting you. The catastrophe that has headed your way. It has already taken human lives in its approach towards you. But you have nothing to fear. You already have the power to fight against it. 
It seems that the time for you to use your persona has come. <laughs> your persona ability is that of the wild card. If you strengthen your bonds properly, their power will help you overcome any ordeal. Our role is to facilitate that. My contribution is to give birth to new personas. By mixing together multiple persona cards, I can transmute them into a new form. This, in other words, is the few you have... I already know all this. Huh? Oh, maybe. That'd explain why you're so familiar. Hmm. Excuse her. Her soul. <laughs> Do you recall my words to you? Be stick out. Guess it doesn't help that we're in our school uniforms on a Sunday. The sale should end soon, so that'll get rid of some of the people wandering around here. All right, let's get going. Chie, it's not too late to... I'm going! Damn. Fine, but don't push yourself, got it? doing can't you tell I'm thinking about stuff I've been deliberating over it for a long oh time oh my now. god the pun hey that wasn't a bad joke <laughs> uh, so did you figure anything out uh, it's probably useless to think about it too much I've seen the inside of your skull and it was empty how rude you're right, though. <laughs> I try and try, but nothing comes out of my head. Will you guys shut up? Now is not the time for stupid jokes. Listen, someone came here yesterday, right? Wow, there's a girl with a better nose than me? What's your name, miss? M miss uh, I'm Chie, but never mind that. Tell me more about that someone. I think it happened a little after I talked with you guys. After that, it felt like someone was here. I'm gonna... Is it you can on? He doesn't know who I that is. Know. I haven't looked. The presence is over that way. That's probably where they are. It's probably where they are. Over 
over there, huh? Is everyone ready? Yeah. No, definitely not. She is. Definitely not. You're positive that no one's behind a camera for that bizarre midnight program. Program? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe people on your side can. And I told you before, there's only me and shadows here. There's no camera stuff going on. This world has been like this from the beginning. From the beginning? That's what we don't understand. I don't know. Can you guys explain everything about your world? I've never seen this program thingy before, so I don't know. Well, is that really what's happening? Are we really looking into this world? <coughs> because the first time Yukiko showed up on that channel was before she disappeared. Doesn't <laughs> I mean, I'm cold. Yukiko it's supposed to be only 49 tomorrow. It's gonna be fucking cold. Stud. Stud? Yeah, I couldn't believe it either. Yukiko-san would never say anything like that. Turn that up just a bit because it's gonna be colder tomorrow. Turn the heat on to 64, because it's gonna be fucking cold tomorrow. It's not even gonna break 50, and it's supposed to be like mad windy and shit. Huh. Not really. Well, actually, yeah, kind of because like the inside, the, the inside gets mad fucking cold, even if it's not cold out. For some There's reason. There's a lot of stuff I still don't get, but after hearing your story. I think that program happens because of the person who appears on it, or something like that. Makes sense. So, Yukiko is producing that show herself? Probably. I mean, it would make sense. Oh, I don't get this at all! It's okay, Shie. Nobody said you had a brain inside that fixed skull of yours. Do you feel Yukiko's presence from inside? I'm pretty sure. So, um, what's this scoring with a hot stud thing? Yukiko's here. I'm going on ahead. She, uh, you dumbass. Hey, wait, don't go alone! Jeez, we better follow her. Man, I like to score a hot stud. Let's go. I already know how this works. Yeah. Soldier up. There are two enemies! Hang in there! That's some thick skin! 
Oh, that's right. Fucking... No. Direct commands. I keep forgetting that it's auto by default. Fashion plate achievement. Fight a battle in a costume. Okay. I'm actually gonna go with the school outfit. I don't know, he looks better in the school outfit. Wow, the, w the way that I said that makes it sound really, really weird. I didn't mean it that way. I remember correctly, the week to this. Slime! Bash. Feels light. Physical damage and still fear. Yeah. I'll get a skill turn. Take the trust key, thank you, over slime. Oh yeah, you have fucking Dia. Okay, yeah, and when Pixie has Dia as well. 
So that will work out. Yeah. There are two enemies. Hang in there. Man, did you really have to slap me? It's very rude. Oh. I almost did the wrong attack. That would have been very fun. We'll just pass up your turn. You hit its weakness. Let's go, partner. Okay. Ready or not, here we come. Hell yeah. Easy peasy. Fire damage decreases Kate evasion. I'll take it. everything on this floor. Mm, you're good at fighting sensei compared to you, Yosuke stinks. <laughs> Shut up, Ted. Though I do gotta admit, you have a knack for his stuff, doesn't he? So you should be the one to give Yosuke orders during a fight. Yeah, I've already turned it on for the obvious reason, but I do not trust it having a uh, act freely turned on. The only game where that was ever useful was Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. And that was because the AI actually was smart. I don't trust the AI in, in, on here. Yeah, I just wasted peach seeds, I know. How dare I? There she is, Chia Chan. Chia, are you all right? No. Chia. She said that red looks good on me. Yukiko-san? I hated my name. Yukiko. Snow. for me. Apart from inheriting the inn, I'm worthless. Still, Chie told me that red looks good on me. Yes. Yukiko-san's inner thoughts? I remember hearing Saki-senpai's too. Yeah, this castle is probably here because of this Yukiko person. Makes Yukiko. sense. Chie was the only one who gave my life meaning. She's Bright and strong, she can do anything. She has everything that I don't. Compared to Chie, I'm... I'm... Chie protects me. She looks after my worthless life. And I... I don't deserve any of it. Chie is so kind. Yukiko, I... Chie is so kind, huh? What a joke! What?! Oh man, is that...? It's just like Yosuke! She lost control over her suppressed self! Now it's a shadow! Are we talking about that, Yukiko? <laughs> she says I'm protecting her! She says she's worthless! 
Chie, please. Shut it. Chie! What fucking dominatrix shit is this? It's coming. You have to use your Even though I've seen it already, I still have to give commentary. Yes, yes I can. I think they're actually gonna be weak to the uh, fucking Garu. This motherfucking go. for healing purposes. Guard. 
I don't mean to have him go. She's nothing but a grubby bitch. My shrine, bitch. Oh right, you had fucking green wall put up. That's right. Mm -hmm. Talk a lot of shit. Kind of a weird attack, but okay. I'm ready to fuck old boy now. I'm not too worried about it. Okay. What 
happened? What's the matter? Got nothing to say anymore? Stop it, Chie. It's all right. B but. Everyone? He's right. I went through the same thing. So I can understand. I mean, everyone has a side like this. Yeah. Kinda get it now. You are me. A side of me I couldn't forgive. That I tried to ignore. But you still exist. You're a part of me. about being friends with Yukiko. Like we didn't know that already. Hey, Chie! I'm okay. Just a little tired. You don't look okay at all. And I bet you can use the same power we have now. Huh? Hey, what should we do? I agree. I need to let Chia rest. I never said I needed a break. I can still keep going. No, you can't. Don't overdo it. It's not that we don't think you can. It's just we have to save Yukiko-san no matter what. Now that you have the power, you can fight with us. It'd be much better for us all if you had your strength back. That's why we're saying we should go back and regroup. But Yukiko's still in here, isn't she? I... I uh, if those were Yukiko's true feelings, then I have to tell her something. Not as strong as she thinks. It's because she was with me. Because we were always together, I was able to act that way. If we weren't, I'd... Well, you need to get your strength back. Then you can tell her. Yuki-chan's normal. The shadows don't attack normal people. They only attack when the fog lifts here. So Yukiko-san will be safe until then, right? I'm positive. Why? I don't get it. Teddy told us that the weather here is the opposite of our own world. When it fogs over in our world, that's the day it lifts here. And that's when the shadows attack their victim. So even if we leave for a while, Yukiko-san won't be in danger until the fog starts to cover Inaba. I'm sure of it. It was the same way for that announcer and senpai. Don't you remember how it was foggy in town on the days they died? You mean... they were killed by their other selves? The fog usually appears after it rains. But it's been sunny lately. I don't think it's going to rain anytime soon. Don't worry so much. We'll check the weather forecast first thing when we get back. I can't turn back now. We've come so far. You sure about that? Then you tell me how much further we gotta go to reach Yukiko-san. Th that's. You don't know what's up ahead. The enemies might be even stronger. If we push ourselves too hard and get wiped out, who will save Yukiko-san then? We can't fail, no matter what. Am I wrong? No, you're not wrong. All right. Sorry about before. I shouldn't have rushed in like that by myself. No worries. We're definitely gonna save Yukiko-san, right? <sighs> right. I, uh, 
I'm feeling even worse than the last time I came in here. My head feels like it's gonna split open. Are you guys okay? That's right, you're not wearing the glasses. You didn't notice until now? How panicked were you? Tam -ta -dam! I got a pair ready for Chiri-chan, too. Here you go! Didn't you whip those out earlier if you had them? I made them right now. You didn't tell me she was coming. It was all so sadden. I mean, sudden. Sadden. It was all so sadden. Huh. Hey, is it all right if I keep these? So show. Shut up. I have to stop here today. But I you guys better not come here without me. Got it? Fucking Ted. Teddy. So, so, shut up. Yeah, let's all promise each other. Nobody goes in alone. It's way too dangerous. If we don't work together, we won't be able to solve this case or save Yukiko-san. Right? Yeah, I agree. I promise to. mind being our leader you were the first to get this power and you're way better in a fight than either of us I think it's best for all of us if you set the pace of the investigation and we follow your lead I'm cool playing second banana I had a feeling you'd say that I mean I'm more the advisor type you know an ideas man not an executive I'm with Yosuke if you're the one calling the shots I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this. I'm with Yosuke too. If you're the one calling the shots, my pillow will be a lot more comfortable at night. Teddy, would you please stop talking? I'm really on edge right now. The fool. Okay. Let's get some rest for today so we're ready for tomorrow on. And don't forget to check the weather forecast. It gets foggy after a lot of rain, so let's keep an eye out. Also, let's make sure we gear up for next time. something you aren't getting involved with any strange business are you 
And what happened at the station this afternoon? It's still bothering me. Is there anything you're not telling me? I see. Ma, well, it's just been nagging at me that... Well, what's wrong? Are you fighting? No, we're, we're not having a fight. This isn't the police station. I agreed to look after you. So don't get yourself involved in anything that could get you into trouble. Got that? Get into trouble, a lot of it. Got it. Will do. Pops. And now, our weather forecast. Due to high pressure fronts from the west, that sunny spring-like weather will stay with us for a while longer. the one who decides the weather because when she says it'll be sunny it always is uh, she's not really deciding it <laughs> never mind all right that's where I'm gonna call it